James here. That's right. James here from the Dragon Blogger team. How's everybody doing on this fine Wednesday morning? Hopefully everybody's having a great start to their week. Uh, at least to me, it's the start of the week. Uh, with that being said, we got a nice little show. We're going to attempt to do this show today. Uh, we had some technical issues. Uh, one of my monitors went up and uh, decided to go sideways and quit on us. So I'm down to a single monitor trying to do this as I can. Uh, hopefully we can get through this and have some fun and all that other cool stuff with that. Now, I do believe my uh, camera has been actually hit out of whack. Let me try and fix that. All right. So my uh, camera was actually moved to also. So had a whole bunch of issues with that. That uh, should be better. Should be better. There we go. There we go. Uh, so we're going to try and do this show, guys. We're going to have, yeah, try to have some fun. Uh, we're trying to you know, try and push through this and all of that. So first and foremost, guys, we're going to pop over. We're going to show you guys this first product. This is from Apier. This is their Elite Pro Cordless Robo Vacuum. Uh, cool little piece, guys, if you need a Robo Vacuum to clean uh, using your pools. Vapor is so good at making pool vacuums that you really honestly don't really need that because it's really pretty much straightforward. Which is pretty cool. Oh no, I'm totally fine. Yeah, I'm just I the Elite Pro. before yeah, stream I, started, I broke my I monitor. So one of my it. monitors broke. And that comes in handy. Uh, and, also have and I'm down to a single monitor, yeah, and that. that's not how my show's normally set up for. So it's so technically I'm really set up for a whole different style of streaming. The last one is not really much bigger. So doing the, this this way is a little bit different to me product. because I don't have the extra well, screen right for everything and, uh, else. Pull this out and show you guys of how this one actually looks. No, as you guys can see, unfortunately, I don't have a spare set in here. Wireless robot yeah. vacuum. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get through this. We're, we're good. We're good. Dance on it. We're gonna try and get through all this. <laughs> as long as nothing else happens, all right, we're good. It happens. Things things happen. Like I said, it cleans also cleans the walls also. So let's go. Uh, we can watch. We can let the video play and talk about it a little bit. Uh, so, I have so much product on hand I have to get through. It was actually stacking up underneath my desk. Uh, and what happened is, is I guess the brand new box that showed up today when I pushed it, pushed the power cable and broke off the power cable or the power part inside my monitor. Uh, so, they didn't break the outside plug, it broke the inside of the monitor. Yeah, things happen. Things happen. Um, could have happened at a different time. Yes, most definitely. Uh, would it have been better if it happened Monday? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it's totally golden. We got another monitor on its way. Uh, it might be a few days. So I'm going to have to roll this way for a couple days. Hopefully I can, I can get used to this because this is a little different for me. Um, Usually I don't have to do a lot more swapping between everything. I usually have separate pages opened everywhere. It's all good. You just got to roll with it. Keep going. Keep your head up above water and say, hey, it's life. What, what, what can I say? <laughs> now with the Apier Cool Cleaner, guys, this is, of course, $552. But the cool part is, is it will help you clean your pool so you don't have to do it all the time by yourself. And now it will bring itself back to the wall, and then you can grab it with your pool hook, hook and bring it up. Now you will need to recharge it. It is fully waterproof, though, and that's actually kind of cool. Now it does have a filtration system uh, built in. You will then pop it open on the bottom. You will uncork it and then pull out all the debris that it's actually sucked up. Uh, so it's not that bad. Uh, honestly, Sheila, if I really uh, if I really needed to, I'm like not even four minutes from Walmart. I could have just went up and purchased one. Uh, but, you know, it's all good. It's all good. I could have grabbed a TV. <laughs> um, you know, it's all good. It's all good. It, it, yeah, things happen, you know, just it's just one of those things. <laughs> Uh, could it happen to later in the day? Yeah, that is not what I wanted to wake up to. <laughs> um, yeah, so my monitors were actually 32 inch monitors. I have dual 32s or had dual 32 inch monitors. So 
technically it's 64 inches total. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. So, guys, nice little pool cleaner. If you guys are looking for a low robo vac pool cleaner, Apier's got you covered. And now we're going to show you guys this right here. This is the Apier Seagull. This is another version. Uh, another nice little pool cleaner if you guys need. What's up, everyone? My name is Demetrius. And today we are going to be talking about this awesome yeah, yeah. cordless robotic. Um, I might actually have, let's see, do I have pictures? Apier right there. There's uh, some key features on the front of the box right here. You, I like actually I said, have cordless. a picture of my setup. It runs up to an hour and a half. It has uh, improved charging on it, and it cleans so, pulls up to 850 actually, square let's, feet. Let's pause this. Swap scenes. Uh, let's go to that one. So we're going to swap scenes real quick. Uh, so this is what was all stacked up under my desk that actually broke it. All of that was stacked up pushing on the power cord. I didn't realize it was pushing that far. Um, that is the inside of the plug that broke. This is what broke out of it. Now, I probably could have took it to a TV repair place and, you know, had it all fixed. But that is how I normally stream right there. Uh, dual setup. So usually that's how I'm working. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Let's pop back over. Let's play this. And it's also portable right here. And you also have the cell parking capabilities, which it parks on the on the side of the pool. You also want to make sure you open this uh, little envelope that they have right here because it has this for you. As oh, you I see when I move my mouse, it makes the screen go right dark here. now, though. So let's take that off. And there you have it. Let's go ahead and take this out right here. So it comes with spare wheels, which is pretty cool. You have a retrieval hook, a charger, and extra brushes, which you always need. One sec, guys. So really awesome that they these. gave you extra stuff. So let's go ahead and pull this out. The weight, I would say, is about, I would say about 15 pounds, maybe 20 extremely light and like i said yeah. you can use your pull hook to hook that hook it up right here and just pull right out of the pool whenever it's done cleaning so let's go ahead and jump right in and uh show you guys a little bit of what it looks like on the inside and how it works so with this robotic pool cleaner right here it has actually pretty solid wheels on it okay and whenever you move it around you can just feel how more durable it is. So you guys had to uh, break this down and tear it apart. So this right here. Now I'm gonna jump forward to where we're actually using this guy's in the pool. I know he does throw it in the pool here so you guys can see this. Uh, and now it will auto sink and once it starts sinking, it starts jet propelling and it is on the go. Now as you guys see, it's gonna pick up a lot of debris. Now it's not gonna pick up everything. Unfortunately, it will leave some stuff behind because it's gonna have to make many passes with that. Uh, to get what it can. Uh, it's just that it's sucking up debris. So it does work very, very well. And then you actually have a filtration system just like the last uh, that can actually come up and then do all of that cool stuff with that. So if you guys are looking for a nice little piece right there, that might be an option for you guys, the A-Pair uh, pool cleaners. Now we also have this next piece. Uh, this next piece is from GeekTel. Uh, Geek Tail doorknobs, guys. The Geek Tail doorknobs are actually really, really cool. Nice little piece right there. Um, I'm actually, let's see if I can do this. I'm trying to move uh, Amazon chat. So if you guys are wondering what I'm reading today, this is my Amazon chat for the day. Uh, really, really small. So if I miss some chats, I do apologize uh, with that. Now the Geek Tail, the Geek Tail doorknobs is actually a doorknob that hey, I actually have use. A door uh, with this doorknob system, guys, you, it's fully functional. You have everything you need, including an app. The app will allow you to open and unlock the door at will by using the phone, which is actually quite cool. Now, some other very cool parts with this is if I can quit sneezing and itching. I don't know why my allergies are off the hook, but they are. Uh, with that, it has all of the striker plates that you need. It has two types of striker plates uh, for the doors. So if you need a curved or flat, it comes with that. Uh, it also comes with the internals, so you can actually use the internal mechanisms. Then comes with the door handles. The door handles do have a wire, and this is answering why I'm so dusty. All right. 
uh, with that. So you do have all that. Now it has two screws to hold in the striker plate or the, the mechanicals, two screws for the striker plate and two screws for the door handle itself. It does have a power connecting ribbon. The power connecting ribbon will connect together. Now to use this, you'll need four AAA batteries that fit in the back end of the, uh, the actual doorknob. Uh, very simple to put in. Uh, the cap comes off by, by the single screw. Then you put the uh, batteries in and all of that and you're up and running. Now, with the app, you can set up as many fingerprints as you want. You are, the, of course, the first one is the admin or you are the admin. You can actually add as many fingerprints off of your hand as you want with that. You can then add a second admin or other users with it. If the batteries happen to die, it does come with several keys, so it can still open by a key function with that. Now, another cool part is, is if the battery dies, it does have a plug, so you can plug in a power bank to power it up so you can get enough power to use your fingerprint to open it. So there are several ways to get into this device if it happens to die or, you know, the batteries just happen to go away. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for today. Uh, so right here, I'm showing you guys, there is your uh, your cable. That cable will allow you to connect up a power bank to this device. Kind of cool. Uh, so it can do that, and that's actually a good option. Uh, here are your striker plates, your internal mechanisms, uh, and everything like that. There's your dual striker plates, all the screws and everything else. Uh, hooking it up, it's just that simple. You can see I am just connected the last piece. Uh, right there and it's actually opening you know moving and closing by the inner door handle uh, Now if I hit my fingerprint you guys will see that it is flashing green Which means it's now ready to go now. It does talk to you and all of that cool stuff if you need uh, Cool little doorknob nonetheless guys nice little piece Or maybe you guys need a Bluetooth speaker well, Anchor's got you covered with this one, and Aster did this video, so you this should enjoy it. This is the upgraded guys. Anchor Soundcore Bluetooth speaker. I absolutely love the sound quality and the deep bass that the one sec, everybody. deliver. It has zero distortion and exceptional clarity, as well as it utilizes two high-sensitivity drivers and a patented bass port. With that bass port, it creates a rousing high and deep lows in your music, making it feel <laughs> more immersive. Just is making fun of my hair, guys. <laughs> as well as it instantly pairs by using Bluetooth 5.0 and can go up to 66 feet away from your device. I seen the doggo snout hit it. That was cool. There was a puppo snout. this guys it's fully functional by the actual phone so you can turn the volume up and down pause your music by the phone with that now the cool part is there's also an app the app will allow you to adjust your eq to your liking uh guys cool little piece right there if you're looking for something like that the anchor sound core now we're going to show you guys the anchor sound core too uh, of course this is a me uh, video uh with that being said so this is actually a product i did uh, the Anchor Sound Core 2. Now this is the bigger uh, bigger brother to the one we just showed you. This actually has 12 watts of stereo sound. Uh, still has the Bluetooth 5.0. Base up technology, IPX7 waterproof and 24 hours of playtime. I do apologize guys. My phone is on for a reason, unfortunately. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. So with that guys, this is a cool piece of technology that you can go with this. Uh, 24 hours of play time, still has the app. The app will allow you to adjust your EQ uh, to your liking, uh, so you can set it up to your, that, your, your own adjustments. Maybe you like more bass, maybe you like less bass. You can do that with the app. 
Now also in the app will allow you to pair this with another one because it does have wireless stereo pairing. So you can do two and one. Now of course we're gonna do a sound now test right here where I'm jumping forward. forward. We're gonna come in yeah, here. I'm show you guys this. And we're gonna actually pop down. We're gonna play some music for you, right? Let's make sure my music app will pop up. Of course, it's taking its little time here. Here we go. Let's play some music uh, for you. Mechanics. Now, that is, of course, on low, which is not a problem, right? Let's get ready and go higher. We can pause it right here, right? If we want, we'll play it again. Turn the volume down. Again. Of course, guys, that is, of course, the Soundcore 2 from Anchor. I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, video. And I hope you guys all have a great day. So, guys, day. with that, you can see it's a room fill sound. The room fill sound is actually beautifully well done. Packs quite a punch has that sound that you really, really need from a Bluetooth speaker. Now it does come in a couple colors, still is fully waterproof, which means you can take it outside to the park, to the beach, use it anywhere you really want and all of that, guys. It's a great piece of technology that is just beautifully, beautifully done. But Anchor just couldn't be outdone, so they had to do the Soundcore 3. That's right, the Soundcore 3. Uh, this is another one that I actually did. So the Soundcore 3 is just, of course, the next big brother to the Soundcore 2. I mean, what? Yeah, they had to go a little bit above and beyond. Now, this is still 24 hours of playtime. Uh, IPX7 waterproof has the pure titanium diaphragm drivers with a passive radiator. Uh, guys, Still does drivers, party cast, base up, app, custom EQ control, and all of that with that. Now, what we're going to get to, though, is the beautiful 16 watts of sound compared to the 12 watts of sound. Still three different colors and all of the other cool part. But we're going to do, of course, just a great set a uh, little bit. Uh, so we're going to show you guys the sound test right here. Let's back up. You can actually adjust your volume all the way up. That's where we're gonna go. Let's play some music, right? So I'm gonna grab some music. As you guys see, it came on full volume. My phone was already up there, but room filling, guys. That is actually quite loud for 16 watts. Listen to that, guys. That is room fill. It's just perfect with perfect Honestly, great, great piece. Wait for it to come back on. So if you guys need a Bluetooth speaker that packs quite a little wallop, that might be a really good option for you. Anchor did a really, really phenomenal job. But maybe you want to take it up another notch. Well, another notch, of course, would be the Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom. Guys, the Motion Boom is another beautiful, beautiful Bluetooth speaker. Now we're going to talk about this. Still, 24 hours of playtime. Still, IPX7 waterproof, which means you can take it to the beach, you can play it in water, you can do whatever you want with it. Still has titanium drivers, base up technology, passive radiators uh, with this. Fully Bluetooth connectability with the Bluetooth 5.0. Now, the one thing that we're going to talk about is the power from this. So guys, with this, this is a little bit bigger and has a little more power. What do I mean by that? Well, this is actually 30 watts of power. So you have 30 watts of power from the two speakers. Uh, TWS, true wireless pairing, stereo pairing, Bluetooth 5.0 has out charging ports. What that mean is, is you can actually connect up a phone to this and use it that way. 
But honestly, guys, the app adjustability and all of that other stuff is just one of the things. Let's show you guys the actual sound quality though, from this device. And of course, I'm playing that. with this. Oh, yes, guys. Now, we have music oh, here for we go. you guys, right? Sound cost. Okay, I apologize, guys. Now, we have the speaker, right? That is on low. Let's go all the way up. I'm impressed. Let me. That sound quality is actually a lot more prominent in person. I'm telling you, it fills that room with sound. It sounds beautifully, beautifully well done. It packs a nice little punch, gives you that sound that you should get. If you want to throw a little backyard party, it will allow you to do that. And everybody can hear the music. Uh, guys, they did a good job with this. Anchor did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. But what is technology without maybe a phone-controlled AI-powered uh, device? Well, I'm having issues with my mouse. Why? Oh, man. Uh, guys, next up is the Obsbot Meet AI tracking phone gimbal. James here with Quick Show. Uh, this is a cool piece of technology, guys. This works by just charging it up, setting it on a tripod, and it will track your motion. Now, this will hold pretty much any phone on the market. Uh, the one downside is, is if you have an OtterBox Defender case on your ops, or on your uh, iPhones, like your 12 Pro Maxes, your 13 Pro Maxes, and your 14 Pro Maxes, you may need to take the case off. Case might be slightly a little too big. Not a big deal, right? It really isn't. Uh, isn't that big of a deal with this. Now, I'm going to jump forward where we're actually showing you guys what comes in the box. Uh, you get all the paperwork, you get the charging cable. Uh, with that, of course, just a simple little piece. I'm actually having problems with my mouse, and I'm not sure why, but whatever, whatever. Uh, let's jump forward. So you get this hard shell carrying case. The hard shell carrying case actually holds the device inside. Uh, so you actually have that right there. You will unzip it, and you'll be greeted with the Obspot Me AI. Now, it is in two pieces, of course. You get the charging cable, which is USB-C to USB uh, cable to charge the device. Cool little bit, tidbit right there. Uh, about four feet of length. Uh, perfectly sized. Not too long, not too short. It's just there. You will then be greeted, of course, with this little piece right here. And it's not really a big little deal, but it's actually meant for unlocking the mechanism for twisting it open. And it's almost like, uh, let's say, a plastic uh, guitar pick. Uh, it's just a round disc, and that's what it's meant for. It's literally meant to unclip a little screw latch. You are then greeted with a little uh, dash tri or a desktop tripod uh, for this. Now, the desktop tripod is just that. It's a little tripod with a screw, so you can screw the device into it. I'm glad they added that, but you could set this on a real tripod. Now, here is the Obsbot Me AI tracking phone device. Uh, now, you do have to use your own phone, but you do not need no app. It runs without an app. There is no need for an app to work with this piece. Look at that. Once it's out, you're good to go. Now, you can put the, the, mo the phone mount piece in 360 degrees, so you can go in vertical or horizontal mode, which means you can do TikTok recordings or you can do widescreen recordings. That's kind of cool. Then once you connect it up, you put your phone into it. Now, it is a nice deep, but it's slightly not wide enough for that OtterBox Defender case. It happens. It happens. Some of the devices do that. Now, I'm going to jump forward where we're actually using this. Uh, right here, guys, you can see when it powers on, it lights up blue, and it will start spinning and tracking me. Now, we're going to jump over where I'm actually using this, and this thing is actually really smooth. It keeps track of me very, very well, and you guys will see that if I keep moving, it's going to follow me in that picture. That is cool. 
to have a tracking camera that can track you in picture while doing a recording uh, is really cool. That means you can uh, either record or even just video chat with your family while you're working in the kitchen. And the camera will keep you in angle. I love it. Great little piece of technology, guys. I recommend cool, cool piece. I'm going to jump over to here to where the big camera angle uh, with that. So if you guys are looking for it, Obspot. Obspot, guys. Obspot. Obspot's got you covered with that one. Uh, hey, Victoria. I'm sorry, Victoria. Hey, Chucky. What's up, guys? Uh, you guys missed the memo. So... I broke one of my monitors. I'm down a monitor, so seeing chat is going to be questionable for a little while off and on. So my restream chat keeps getting hid behind uh, the stuff that I'm showing you guys live. It's it, it's not what I want. It definitely is what I want. I'll tell you that, guys, right now. Um, if I play around, you know, we probably can mess around with some stuff and try and figure this out. Maybe I can get this to work a little different. Let's see over here let's see if I can do this and that is the problem once I go to there you guys see the whole picture so that's a problem 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 yep yep that might work let's see if we can do this Hey, that might work. Now I got chat. I have chat. Hey, this might actually work today. <laughs> I don't normally work this way, guys. Work, work, work. Uh, next up is a Eufy product. Guys, Eufy, Eufy, Anchor. Anchor, what can I say? Anchor makes some phenomenal, phenomenal products. Uh, this next up, guys, this is their cool little piece, their home vac. Uh, this is the H30. The H30 is just that. It is just a portable little vacuum that can this work of very, very from well. Eufy yet again. This is their home vacuum. How are you doing, H30. Victoria? How are you doing? Right, their home vacuum H30. Uh, this is 16 kPa, which is on a Pascal scale. Uh, 20 minutes of runtime uh, with this, guys. You do have the charging base and all the pieces, and I'm going to try and get this open without. See if it'll get open. Sheesh. What's up with this? Nice big old box. Looks at the box aside. First, we are greeted with with the actual vacuum itself. Uh, yeah, vacuum. I think I got chat working now. Yikes. So here is your vacuum, guys. This vacuum uh, has two uh, modes. You have echo or you have max. Uh, you have the connector. The connector this is weird can not pop open the monitors. tank slides out and off, just like that. You have the open end. Now, <laughs> my phone's going off of the video. That's funny. Uh, one second, guys. I apologize. I did not realize it was on. But I, I uh, the weather it's like uh, videos, 50 this, degrees. But this is easy. It comes open just I'm like back this. back in flip-flops. Slides off. You empty it out, then you bring it back onto this, slide it, and connect it. Great little piece. I'm going to pop the tray out. We have some extra pieces in here. Uh, we're going to see what we can do here. Gotta have love being oh. back in flip-flops. What? We got another box. Is there anything? In oh, it's empty. No, there was actually something in that box, and I did not realize that. Now, guys, this does have two crevice tools. So you do have the multi-crevice tools inside this that actually are very, very well done. It does have the charging base. The base is actually just that. It's meant to charge it and hold all of your tools on there. Very cool to do. Now, it does do in two different modes. You have standard vacuuming mode, which is the eco mode, or you can go into max mode. The max mode is going to eat the battery up a lot quicker. Not a big deal because if you're using this, you're using this uh, for a short period of time. You're not using this to vacuum all the whole carpet in your house. You're using it for like little spills or maybe the inside of your car. So that is actually cool. Now it does come with the charging cable. Of course, it is just a DC style plug. Uh, so you can plug in that and then charge it and all of that jazz with it. 
Now here's your crevice, one of your crevice tools. Now this crevice tool actually has a sliding tip that has that bristles. The bristles are good for getting into and getting that little extra dirt to pop up or maybe cat hair, dog hair, whatever it really is. Now there's another tool. Of course there is another tool and I'm like, where is it, where is it? Oh, here's another tool. Uh, this is the battery, that's not the tool. The tool's behind the camera. I mean, what? <laughs> So guys, I was in this video looking around trying to figure out, hey, where's this extra piece? Little did I know it was actually hidden inside that black box I thought was empty. Hey, Logic, what's up? What's up? Now, that's another cool piece, guys. It does have a light, so you can actually see that stuff when you need to with that, which is actually very phenomenally well done. Now, you guys see I'm still fighting with more plastic wrappers and all the other cool stuff, uh, but there is your little cleaning tool. Uh, and of course, another little uh, hangers, and that's your hanging material. Guys, great little vacuum. If you're looking for a vacuum, the Eufy H30 Home Vac Venture is a good option for you. Man, where is this? I actually need this magnetic wireless power bank. I was looking for this the other day, and I can't figure out where I set this. But I need this. Uh, this is the iWalk Magnetic Wireless Power Bank, guys. Cool little piece. I highly recommend for you if you are a wireless charger, like for your iPhone 12s, 13s, and 14s. James here. Today we're taking a look at the iWalk well, Magnetic works, Wireless guys, Power Bank, guys. This is second. a 6,000 milliamp power bank. Uh, this is meant for the iPhone 14, 13, 12 uh, pros and non-pros, as long as it's a magnetic wireless uh, style phone. Now, this will not, let me repeat, will not stick to the XRs has to be the 12s and up uh, for the magnetic stick. And I'll show you guys that in a second, why I say that. Uh, with the 6,000 milliamps of power, guys, which is great, I should be able to charge that phone at least once with no problem. Now, the cool thing is, is it does have Rich, a ring, thank you uh, for the follow, ring holder Robert, on the thank back you for the follow. and all of that other cool stuff. Now, it should take about an hour Welcome and a half to, the to charge show. or less, depending on your power brick. Inside here, you'll be greeted with the user manual, of course, and the device. Now, inside here... Uh, you have the device, and I'll show you guys that in one second, because there's more than just that. There's also the charging cable at the bottom. Charging cable is a USB-C oh. to USB-C cable. Oh, uh, it has plenty of length for oh, you to itchy. charge this. Okay, now, the device. Like of course, that? I'm going to grab what? the device now, because that's what oh, we're all here funny. for. This is your device. This is your black power bank. Now, there is a button. You will need to turn the button on. You will hit it once, and yep, once it comes on, it will light up and give you an indication of your battery life right there. Now, like I said, guys, this works with wireless charging phones. I mean, uh, even my Samsung will, should take a charge, and it does. See? Right there. It'll take a charge. Now, it's not going to stick to it, but once you touch it, it'll start charging as long as you're in the right place. Now, I know Remember, I, I said that. Stick. Now, the iPhone XR, unfortunately... It won't stick to the XR. The XR battery is not strong enough. I mean, even though it will wireless charge it, watch, it'll wireless charge it, it won't stick to that. Now, if you have a MagSafe phone, though, like this, it will stick to that phone. It will hold that phone. You have a ring holder on the back. The ring holder pops up, guys, just like this. So the cool part is it still has the ring holder, has 6,000 milliamps of a backup battery. So. Let's say you guys are a streamer or a heavy phone user and you go through the battery a lot. This will give you that extra battery on the backup for your magnetically wireless charging style phones. Your iPhone 12s, your iPhone 13s, your iPhone 14s, all are magnetically wireless charging capable. The XRs are not, guys. They will not accept this. Now, it will charge it but it won't clip on like you would want. So if you guys are looking for a magnetic wireless charger, iWalk's got you covered with that one, guys. Or maybe you need this cool little magnetic car holder. Uh, this is from Andoble. This is just that. It's a magnetic phone holder that will hold your iPhone 12s, 13s, and 14s. James here. Today we're taking a look at a cool product from Andoble. This is actually their MagSafe or magnetic style vent phone holder. Uh, inside here is a cool little piece. We're going to pop it open and give oh, you guys your first day look going. and talk about this Bam, piece as we go. Because it does some cool things uh, that you're going to actually like. Uh, I guess the phone. Well, you're One sec, guys. 
So we're going to set that first piece aside for a second. I'm going to grab out some other pieces before we get to that piece. Now, of course, it's a magnetic style uh, phone holder. So it is compatible with your iPhone 14s, hey, 13s, What's up, and 12s. Uh, and we'll just right automatically now, sweating, guys. If it does not fan. do that, they have this little kit in here fan. that actually has some magnetic rings to add to that device or phone that does not have a magnetic ring. So you do have it. You get two of these. They are magnetically uh, styled. They do have three adhesive for you with that. Uh, very simple, very easy. It does come with a cleaning pouch to clean it uh, with that. Now... Cool part is they give you this pamphlet. Well, this pamphlet's actually uh, the instruction manual and a little soft. something else. Uh, that little something else is if you go through here, it'll actually tell you what phone, uh, what? what type of phone will. that you should be using with this. Like you'll say, you know, your iPhones, your Galaxies, uh, your Galaxy S20s, your S22s. So uh, the your one S20 thing I was not showing in that video is you guys see the little paper cut out? That paper cutout is actually the placement that you will use to stick on this magnetic ring that it actually comes with or where it is actually already there. Phones and so on and so on. That's you'll find that phone to pull off this little piece right here, match it up to your phone so you can uh, stick that magnet in the proper place on not the sure back what of that the phone. Means. Well, I already got have one done what? on my phone right here uh, for something else, another reason. So we're going to show you that. But then you have the magnetic <laughs> car mount. Now, this car mount is actually all in one piece. This is what it is right here. So the back piece is your vent piece. Of course, it's got this little uh, wing nut that you will spin. Uh, that wing nut will spin and open up uh, Phyllis, this piece. I'm not sure what you mean. This piece will open up and fit pretty much 99% all car vents. Uh, the best part is it does have a three-point connection. It does have this open gap and alligator-like teeth. Best part is, guys, if you have a style of uh, phone mitt, just swivel it. And it'll go into either landscape or portrait or horizontal or vertical, however you want to call it. Once you find it, you'll then tighten this up till it locks on to the vent and close. Then you have the front. The front is where you're going to see it. We're going to need to peel off the sticky tape before uh, you can I start don't work using for it. Amazon. Here's where your magnetic so, ring is. Not sure. Now there are two or three magnets place. in here, guys. They are N55 <laughs> style magnets. Uh, they are super strong. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, but yeah, Phyllis, I don't work for Amazon. Actually, I work for Dragon Bloggers. Uh, I am just live streaming on Amazon. Uh, this is our own channel part. Uh, you will have to contact Amazon itself over that. So uh, that is totally di something different. Yeah, uh, that that's that's not me. <laughs> oh. They're gonna hold pretty much anything that has a magnet on it. Now I'm gonna take this phone with the magnet ring. And you guys are going to see, it's on there, and it's on there tight, guys. Uh, you got to see that hold. That hold is nice and strong. So, cool little piece, connect it up to your vent, set your phone on it. You can put your phone vertical, horizontal, however you really want to set your phone up on your car vent so you can actually see it I and everything. Yeah, cool. it's cool. I love it. Locks in place, has a strong magnet, works with the uh, with or without magnetic stuff. So guys, if you need a magnetic phone holder, of course, Andoble's got you covered with that one. It actually fits very, very well. Uh, it's actually super strong for a magnet, guys. Uh, and it's just perfect for those magnetic style phones. Uh, if you guys are looking for something like that, Andoble. Or maybe you need a Lamy call. You know what? I might. Dude. What is going on here? I'm hoping I didn't hurt my computer on top of this because now my mouse does not work. Or is that what's stopping me? All right, let's see here. Well, let's show you guys the Tribits. Tribits Flybots. No, actually, we had something before that. There it is. The Vadaris. The Vadaris. Veneris. <laughs> Alright guys, iPhone Lightning Cable 6 pack. Thank you. Maybe you're looking for an Apple MFI before. certified phone cable to replace your old cable. Well, today I got actually this very cool six pack right here. Uh, it does come in multiple sizes and colorations. Now each size and coloration uh, is separate from itself. So you have Two three foot cables. <laughs> this is white and I believe light I don't blue. Know if that's good or uh, bad. Looking backwards at this. Uh, so then you have this like pink 
Uh, green, and then there's a purple behind this white sheet. Oh, Those are sure. six foot cables. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad that thing. That is a ten foot cable. Now I'm going to open it up. I'm just going to grab one of the cables to show you guys it. There's um, no need to pull all these out because they're pretty much all the same, just different sizes. So you do have a rubber band holding it. You do have a regular USB side on that side, and then you have your lightning cable on the opposite. Now, you'll just plug it into your lightning or Apple products, plug it in and start going and charging or transferring data, whatever you want with that. Multiple sizes, multiple colors, uh, very large pack guys have cables all around your house. That way you're never losing them uh, if you need. Uh, and they are MFI certified, so you're good in there, guys. Or maybe you want to step it up with some sound quality with some earbuds. Now, these are the actual Tri-Bit Flybud 3s. The Flybud 3s, guys, let's talk about this. These have 100 hours of play time. I would... I have no clue. No clue. Uh, Tri-Bit Flybud 3, guys. 5.0 Bluetooth, IPX8 waterproof, take it outside, work in the rain, jog with them. Don't worry about it. You're not going to hurt these. 100 hours of playtime. 100 hours of playtime is a little finicky of a thing. The 100 hours of playtime. Hey, hold on. This is the Today, we'll take on. Let's pop over here and do this. So the 100 hours of playtime, guys, is with the case. You're going to get about five hours of music time off the earbud itself and then 20 extra charges in the case. So you have all that backup charging inside that case. Now, you have the six millimeter drivers. These six millimeter drivers actually pack quite a bit of a punch. Now there are customizable fit uh, ear fins with this. So there are a few different styles of ear fins that can actually fit and help hold into your ear with this. Now there are extra ear tips, so you can actually change out the ear tips. Now with this, since it has such a large battery pack on the actual case itself, you can actually use the case as a backup power bank to charge your phone slightly a little bit. Now this does come in three colors, pink, black, and white. It does have a 10% clippable coupon if you need that also. So that's actually quite cool. Uh, but guys, this is actually a nice piece. It does have a USB plug. Uh, that also has another little plug on there. So if you guys need to, you can do that also with that. Like I said, you can use it as a power bank, which is actually quite kind of cool. Now, so with that being said, you have the mediums. You have some smalls. You have some medium larges and small tips. Uh, you can actually, once you open it up, it instantly pairs and you're on the go. Dude, It honestly, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal piece. Uh, the one thing I will tell you about this piece of earbuds, guys, is the sound quality. The sound quality is actually very decent for earbuds. Um, I'm not going to say, you know, hey, they're, they're the best out there I've ever tried. Because I haven't tried them all. Can't tell you that. But I can tell you that this pack of earbuds actually packs quite a bunch in the bass department. Uh, a little more than most of the other ones that I have actually tested, which is actually phenomenal. The battery life is what's really great because it does have a very decent battery life and always have that backup power. It's amazing, guys. Uh, if you need an earbud headset that actually will plug in, fit well, work well, have a power charge, Tribit's got you covered with that one, guys. Tribit's got you covered. Uh, great little piece there. If you're looking for something, I uh, recommend. Just going to say recommend, all right? Uh, now we're going to show you guys the Shocks Open Run Bone Conduction. The main difference between the Open Move and the Open Run is the Open Move do not have a microphone. The Open Run have a dual noise canceling microphone so that you can use it to talk on calls as well, not just listen to music. And the squeak ears go back. The Open squeak, Run squeak, squeak, squeak. also come with a much nicer carrying case. Part clamshell carrying case, much nicer quality carrying case than the Open Move with just this pouch. Again, similar design, except it has dual microphones, one to cancel the noise in the background and the other one to talk into. The Open Move does not have a microphone at all, so you can't make conference calls with it. This one you can make conference calls. Now these are kind of cool guys, because the way they work is, is you don't have to have earbuds in your ears. They sit right in front of your earbuds, which means they vibrate the sound 
through your bone into the eardrum canal, which means your ears are still open to hear background noise. Let's say you're out jogging. You can still hear a car coming up on you uh, or somebody yelling at you. Or maybe you're vi traveling and you want to listen to an audiobook but still hear your flight, uh, your flight being called. I uh, boarding uh, flight 57. You'll hear that because you still have it opened. Honestly, it's really cool to have stuff like that because uh, it's just amazing to know that you can do something like that. Uh, it's honestly a great thing, especially let's say you're outside working in the yard. Uh, you want to listen to something, but you still want to be able to hear around you. This gives you that option. Uh, really good. Now, there's a couple other styles. This one uh, does not have a microphone. Now, I'm going to tell you the one downfall with these in my book is the magnetic charger. The magnetic charger is cool in a certain sort because you can't break the charging port. The only downfall to that is you have to carry an extra cable with you to charge it if you're taking this traveling. Uh, it's not a universal one style plug, so you have that for it. But like Sheila says, guys, very good for working and listening to stuff and still being able to hear around you. Uh, yeah, like she says, still hearing your coworkers. Uh, maybe you like want to hear an audiobook being read. That's really cool. And now, I'm also going to tell you, it's not super loud, so it's not really carrying out so everybody else can hear it. It's pushing it into you, so it keeps it that way. Uh, proprietary. Yeah, that, that that's the kind of the words. It's kind of the words. I'm not sure I like the word proprietary. I feel as like I'm um, stumbling today. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should eat breakfast. I need food. The charger. Yeah, the proprietary charger. That's the word she was looking for. Yeah. I, I, I knew what it was. I was just stumbling, all right? Yeah, I've just... Shouldn't lose it. Don't lose it because you're going to have to get a new one and it's hard to find them. You have to go straight to shocks. Uh, next up, guys, is a Fantech TA Apex Jump Starter. Yeah, USB, you can use it on anything. James here, too. Gonna jump forward to there. We're gonna be right there. We're gonna hop over. We're gonna talk about this. This is a 2000 amp jump starter, 20,000 milliamp power bank device. Works on 8.5 liter gasoline cars or 6 liter diesel engines. Uh, it does have a nice large LED display. Does have a 65 watt PD fast charger, uh, which is actually quite cool. Now the LCD display will actually indicate uh, if you're in or out charging voltage, uh, your low input or polarity. If you're reverse polarity, it's going to tell you, but it won't allow reverse polarity because it actually stops that, which is actually kind of cool. Now with this, you'll be about an uh, hour and a half to fully charge the device. Uh, over 24 months of standby time with this device before you need to recharge it again. That's cool. Now, the best part is, is you can actually use the charging ports on this to charge your phones or other devices. Uh, you can do like a 65 watt charge to like a MacBook or something like that. And then the other port is an 18 watt QC, which means you can charge your phone or other devices. Uh, what you feel is saying? Um, yeah, 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 definitely. It's cool because it does charge devices. So yeah, I like that. Uh, Caitlin, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Yeah. So it does have the USB-C and USB-A port to charge it. It does have flashing lights. So you still have a, a LED spotlight or flashing SOS pattern on there. So you do have that also. Uh, which is kind of cool to have lights over there if you need. Uh, still, it's water resistant, not fully waterproof. I would have loved it to have been fully waterproof, but uh, some of them ports stop that, which is just one of those things. Uh, don't know. I do not work for Amazon. <laughs> uh, contact customer service. Uh, unfortunately, I do not work for Amazon.
Nope. All good. All good. All right. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> so, uh, nope, no. Nope. We had somebody else in here that uh, had the same issue, and I was like, I don't work for Amazon. <laughs> oh, I think they were telling another streamer. <laughs> it's all good. It happens. It happens sometimes, guys. Oh. You guys need a jump starter? Cool little piece. Does come with the charging cables. The charging cables allows for that actual 65 watts to pass through, which is amazing. It's just amazing. It does come with the carrying case. The carrying case is just that. It's a cinch tie carrying bag. Uh, this is one of those devices I always tell people you should have in your car or at home. A uh, jump starter and a tire air compressor. Tire air compressors are really, really important. You never know when you're going to need a jump start. You never know when you're going to need your, air ti your tires aired up. Just saying. Uh, so if you guys are looking for one, Fantex got you covered, guys. Cool little piece of technology. I believe we're going to show you guys the tire inflator next, of course. This is just that. This is the Fantic X8 Apex Tire Inflator. This will do anywhere from 0 to 150 pounds of square inch pressure. That's right, tire pressure, uh, which most cars only use about 35 to 36 pounds of pressure in their tires. Some use about 32, depending on that. Now, this is actually very, very small and compact. It does have an LED light. It does come with that cable on the top that is to connect to your tires. Now, besides being able to do car tires, you'll be able to do four car tires on a charge with this. You can do multiple motorcycle tires, about approximately about 17 motorcycle tires. Um, I believe it's like 20 to 32 bicycle tires with that, or 70 plus basketballs. Yes, you can actually still inflate basketballs. Now, with this, you can change from KPA, PSI, to bar. Uh, KPA is Pascal scale. Uh, bar is, I don't know, I'm not sure. Not going to ask me. I don't know which one bar is. I forget what bar is. PSI is pounds square inch, uh, which is a standard in America. Uh, so that is what I use. That's because who I am. Uh, but guys, this actually works very phenomenally well. But you could actually do manual mode where you could set it anywhere in between 0 to 150 pounds of square inch. Uh, if you're trying to do a 20-inch tire on an SUV... It'll take you approximately six minutes to inflate it from like six pounds of uh, air up to that 34 pounds or whatever you're running. Not a big deal. And super quiet, doesn't get hot. I mean, it gets a little warm, but not too hot that it's going to hurt you. But this is one of those things that I do recommend people having in their car uh, and having on hand. It's just one of them things. Now we're going to show you guys, of course, the RoboVac. This is the X8 from Eufy. Uh, Justin did this video for So one feature I like about the Eufy X8 Twin Turbine RoboVac is the fact that when you go to plug it in the charger in the charging base, oh, you can actually wind the cord right, right? inside the charging base so that way you don't have a lot of cord I'm hanging sure what around. That is. I also like that the power button is on top of it instead of off to the side. Now I have put the Eufy X8 through its paces on my hard floors and my carpets and various rooms in the house, but one of the things about the Eufy X8 which stands out among other Robovacs is the fact that it has the twin Doctor's 2000 PA suction. Which this means is, while it was I'm going over the carpet, <laughs> almost like a normal vacuum, you could see it actually leaving the carpet disturbed behind it, and you could tell it had enough suction to actually move the carpet. With its little bristles on the carpet, it was able to move and displace surface dust and surface fur and material so that it was able to suck it up. I really put this RoboVac through its challenges oh, by adding man. a lot of obstacles to this room. I this am? is my product review room. So I oh, added a floor I fan, I had a chair in there, I have my Yasuda stationary back in there. I even added a step ladder open because I wanted to challenge this RoboVac to see how well it could navigate around all these obstacles. So I wasn't using it for room mapping for the purpose of this testing. I was very impressed at how well it was able to navigate in and out of this stepladder legs. You could see how it's going to be rich, but I think it's happened before. It even went around cords, didn't have an issue with cords <laughs> because I was worried because most households have cords. How's your robot back? Oh, boy, boy, but you could boy. see it traces itself back through Pandora's the stepladder legs and had virtually no trouble at all working around and working through the stepladder legs. Even left a piece of plastic on the ground. I basically simulated. 
Yeah, as you guys see, it can actually work very well. Now, the best part is, is with the actual app, yes, the app. The app is completely free, so don't worry about that, guys. But with the app, it'll actually determine what I like to call no-go zones or no vacuum zones. So once it's mapped out your house, you can actually set up areas that it does not vacuum in, which means it'll just go right on past to the area you want it to do. Now, it also will allow you to set up vacuuming times. Now, this vacuum is kind of cool because it is twin turbine, so each turbine is 2,000 PA strong suction. That's beautiful. But what's even better is it can determine if it's carpet or hardwood floors and will change the suction amount appropriately. That's amazing. Now, I just have a decent battery life. Now, the one thing is it's a vacuum. So you're going to have to empty out the tray every so often, depending on how dirty your place is. Once you are done vacuuming, of course, it's going to send itself back home. Or if the voltage is getting low, it's going to go back home to its base and actually charge itself. It does remember where its base is. Now, unfortunately, you may find it is set up and actually and just doesn't have enough power to get home. It happens. It happens depending on how big your house is. Well, guys, if you're looking for one, got you covered right there, guys. Yuffie has got you covered. Now, I believe we have some Gobi products. We do have some Gobi products. Um, that is actually the wrong link. Um, let's see. Do I have, does he have these backwards? Oh, he does. He does. What? Um, he actually gave me the wrong, wrong link. Guys, just one second here. I'm trying to see what happened here. <laughs> what what did he do to me? What did he do to me? All right, so he set me up with, and he didn't give me the right video. That's what happened. That's messed up. That's messed up. Um, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about this. So. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. We're going to show you guys a video. I actually can't, can't show you this without it. All right. This is. Guys, the this is thing. the Govee DreamView G1 Pro Gaming Lights. This is an RGB IC monitor backlight. This has uh, works for anywhere from 24 inch to 32 inch monitors, guys. This has. You know what I can actually kind of show you guys this without this video. Let's do that. So what this little bad boy is is a cool little piece of technology. Uh, we're actually. Let's do this. I got back there. Look, look, look. The TV setup. Now, the one we're showing you guys is in the cart is for like uh, your 32 inch monitors and stuff with that. Now, we're going to talk about it a little bit, guys. We're going to talk about it. So, as you guys see, I have a TV light. It has a camera on top. The camera can actually read the screen and will actually change the ambiance on the back lighting to whatever you're watching. Now from Govi, Govi has this very cool app that is completely free. Now the set where Sony guys actually has the light bars. The light bars are what I just lit up underneath. Uh, so there are two pieces on the kit that I'm using. Now you guys can see just the light bars lit up under there, of course. Uh, it does have a purple and green little glow if I set that off. A uh, cool little piece. Now, when I turn this on, you'll see that it all lights up and starts acting together. It comes with all of that, and it has multiple scenes and colorations and patterns. Now, I can do what's called music mode. Music mode will react to my voice and start bouncing around and popping around and just reacting to my voice. Now, if I go over to, let's do a rhythmatic set right there. It's going to flash a little more and pop and crack with that. Kind of cool. If you go into the video mode, the video mode will actually have the camera read what's on that screen. So if I say, uh, you know what, I will not set you guys' this things off, so let's do this. Let's turn that on real quick. Let's go into video mode. Let's turn that back off and do this little cool part. You're going to watch it. It's going to happen right there. Now if I do, let's swap scenes. 
you guys will see it's going to start glowing in the background to whatever we're watching and how the scene move, uh, moves. Of course, it's blue right now, so it's going to just show a little blue glow back there. Uh, if I pop over, it's a little white glow in one area and darker in the other. I believe we have some better little, there you guys go, some greens and yellows. It just changes with the actual picture of that. Now, you guys see the green leaves will actually pop up a lot greener. Uh, Christina, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Now, with that, it's actually quite, quite very nice. Now, with it, you can also do what's called separate colorations inside the app and adjust it to whatever color you like. Uh, or you can pop over to scenes, and scenes will just start changing the lighting and colorations uh, with that. And I'm trying to turn my TV all the way off, and I just threw the remote too far. But... Yeah, I see it's, uh, it's actually moving, popping, and cracking, and I can change these colorations to pretty much whatever I want. There are 64 different scenes in the actual app, uh, which is actually very, very cool. Now, I leave it on just the standard coloration mode on purpose because, well, hey, that's who I am, and it looks better back when I'm struck a stream. Simple little piece, full-on kit, very, very beautifully, beautifully done. If you are looking for something like that, uh, definitely a good, good piece, guys. Now, I showed you guys two different versions of that in the cart. Uh, if you're looking for something like that, a nice little option. Now, with that being said, we're going to be moving over to something I truly, truly love. And this is also from Govi, but this is the Govi RGBIC rope lights. Now, the rope lights are a phenomenal, phenomenal piece of technology. The rope lights are beautiful. We're going to pop over. We're going to show you guys the lighting right here. Look at it. Now, guys, this is the rope lights from Govi. The rope lights from Govi are very, very, very well done. Now, it does come in two different sizes. We're showing you guys the 10-foot chunk. Uh, there's a 16-foot chunk. There's a 6-foot chunk uh, with that. $7 clip of coupon. Multiple scenes, guys. So with this, you have a lot of scenes. Now the cool part is you don't have to do what I did and just set it up under your desk. You can actually draw out pictures, designs on the wall. It does come with the clips and all the hangers. It does have a controller uh, with that. Now the one thing I will tell you guys though is, is if you want to do a lot more with it, add the app. The app will give you more control over the lighting, the choices, your patterns, and everything else. That's what I was messing with in this video. And that is my wiring mess that actually broke this morning. Broke my monitor this morning. That's Govi. Govi's amazing. Lots of beautiful lighting from Govi. Don't mind me, guys. I am looking down every so often to check uh, the other chat. Wow, that we have going on. So, so Govi rope lights, guys. Govi rope lights are phenomenal piece of technology. I love them. I, if those aren't the ones for you, well, they also offer hexagon panels, tri guide panels, uh, multiple other kits, regular house kits, outdoor lighting, pathway lights, and anything under the sun. Govi's got you really covered with some beautiful, beautiful lighting. Um, let's pop over here. Like that. Do, 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 do. Show you guys this piece right here. Guys, this is the Solomark 70 EQ. We're going to pop over. We're going to show you guys this little bad boy right here. This is a cool, cool telescope. Now, with this telescope, you got some few little options here. First and foremost, 70 millimeter aperture, 700 millimeter focal length with it. it does come with two colossal eyepieces, 10 millimeter and 20 millimeter. It also comes with a, a smartphone adapter. The smartphone adapter will allow you to connect up your phone and record from your phone what you're seeing in real time. Now, the EQ mount means that you have multiple adjustments. You can actually angle it up, you can tip it, you can tip it in other directions, or swivel it back and forth. 
Now it does also have a counterweight balance. The counterweight balance is actually beautifully, beautifully well done. Guys, this is a cool piece. This would be great for you to see the stars, the galaxies, whatever you really want. Maybe you want to get your kids into uh, viewing the outdoor stars and all of that. This will allow that. It's actually not that heavy. It does come with the actual tripod built on. The tripod can go a lot higher than I have it set or even lower depending on the person using it. That's beautifully done. Now, the 10 millimeter, 20 millimeter the eyepieces are changeable. You can get other eyepieces, of course. They do offer other ones, so you can do that. Now, Solo Mark has thought about it. It's a great piece. If this is not the one for you, they offer a couple other versions. Uh, good morning, Margaret. Good morning. How are you doing? So, Solo Mark, guys, telescope, great little piece, awesome little object. Or maybe you want to work out and you want to do a rowing machine. This Yasuda Indoor Yasuda. Rowing Machine is an absolutely fantastic workout and fitness product that once you put it together with only 10 screws and about 20 minutes of time, you could fold it up just like this. All you have to do is unscrew the locking mechanism and the pin, oh, so you just screw this in at the bottom here, and then it stays folded up in a vertical position. doesn't take long if you want to put it away for a day, make it take up less floor space. It's easy to do. Just simply screw it in, lock it up, and then take it out the next day, or maybe you only row on weekends, you just lock it up and slide it in a corner. Uh, what I really love <laughs> is just how little space it I'm, takes I mean, up it's folded Technically, up. I'm good. Right away technically, in a corner, I'm good. living room or an office. It's or been a little razzle-dazzle frizzle of a morning. And it takes up almost no room at all. <laughs> among the most folding, fold. It is among the most among foldable the most rowing foldable machines I've ever seen. Now, the magnetic resistance on the rowing machine here gives you a lot of different resistance levels, and it works out about 90% of your muscle groups. I really love rowing machines because they're great for your core back muscles, your shoulders, your arms, and your legs. They have slip-resistant foot pads, and it just is so quiet. This fact, this rowing machine is so quiet that my son was actually rowing while we were watching Stranger Things Season 4 last night, and it doesn't make hardly any noise at all. It tracks your time, tracks your distance, tracks how many rows, and you can see the stand on the top of it is big enough to hold a big tablet or a phone with ease. Yeah, of course so, the dog's like now, it's it, too. It's not a Look smart machine. It doesn't have any AI. It just does uh, analog digital tracking, and you put batteries into the display, but the slide is smooth on the seats. It provides incredible magnetic resistance, and you could just turn the knob to adjust resistance levels. And I use the rowing machine at the gym all the time, and this is as good as any professional rowing machine I've ever used. If you're looking for a rowing machine that will help you burn those calories, work out your muscles, and just give you a good... As you guys see, the Yosu is really cool. Now, it does have a digital display, but it also allows you to put a tablet on there. Uh, so you can actually watch a video, maybe challenge yourself, or maybe video chat with somebody that's also rowing, and you guys can be like a team. Now, it will keep track of the actual speed that you're rowing with, uh, your distance that you've rowed, and the calories earned and burned. And, of course, you can fold it up, put it away, and get it out of your place. Uh, if you guys are looking for something like that, Yosuda's got you covered. Now, Margaret, I had a little eventful morning this morning. I actually broke my second monitor this morning. So I am down to one monitor <laughs> uh, and trying to read multi-chats with one monitor. It's not that easy. Uh, Justin makes it easy, but I know not for me, not for me. Uh, of course, we're going to talk about the Hans Sleep, the Hans Sleep, guys. The Hans Sleep Memory Foam Mattress Topper. Right? James here, and today we're taking a look at a new product, guys. Say this guy. is from Hans Sleep. This is their Memory Foam Queen size. Uh, it's good for your back pad, muscles, all the core muscles. Pad, which is really cool because we've been needing a new mattress pad, and this one does a couple things. This will actually cool you and help regulate your body heat while making you very, very comfortable. Now, like I what? said, this is a queen size, so it's 60 by. Now, queen size is 60 by 80, guys, so you do have that. Now, this is multi layered design. So you have the 3D Air Bamboo Viscous Knit Top. You have the memory foam with cooling gel second layer. You then have down alternative filling, which is your 3D structure of alternative fibers that are built in. Then you have the polyester stretch fabric. So the stretch fabric is actually quite uh, time for. I actually already have one coming, Margaret. Uh, unfortunately, Margaret, that monitor that broke was not even a year old. <laughs> it was not even a year old. 
That's the bad part. Uh, it was totally my fault. I stacked way too much stuff under there and it broke the power port. My fault. Uh, so with that, guys, cool piece. Now, it does come vacuum sealed. Now, it does come in multiple uh, sizes. Twin, twin XL, full queen, short queen, king, and California king. California king is about 72 by 84. So it's a large piece. Now, this one's cool. Up to 21 inches deep, so you can do 21 inches deep mattress. Uh, probably, but I already threw it away. I already threw it in the trash. I'm not going to deal with the warranty issue on it. It's just, it is what it is. Uh, especially when it's my fault. Hmm. As you guys see, we're going to fold this out. We're going to pop it out, and then you guys are going to see it come out. Now, you're going to want to make sure you have the right side up. When I first put this on the bed, I had the uh, wrong side set up. Uh, you want the blue side up because the blue side is your cooling gel. Yes, that's correct. There is a pattern to this device. The blue is your cooling gel. Well, of course, we're going to jump forward right here. Look, it's on my bed. That is actually a really deep bed. Unfortunately, that bed is no longer in that place and does not look like that. Uh, that bedroom is now my kid's room. Yay! Uh, look at that. Look at that deep thing, man. That's very nice. Very beautifully well done. Uh, but where's the model? Tell the model to get up there and show off the bed. Where's it at? Where's it at? This is where Nate tried to steal my ideas. Nate, I got you, buddy. Keep it up, man. Keep it up, my dude. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Nice, comfy, and adjustable. Very, very beautifully well done. Uh, guys, this is actually very comfy. I still use this. This is still on my bed. Uh, the best part about this piece is, is since the actual elastic reaches so far underneath your mattress, it doesn't move. Uh, some of these mattress toppers will actually shift and move. As you get up and in and out of bed, it will shift and move. This one does not. You're golden with this, and it is super cooling. Um, it's actually really beautifully done. Oh, we need a pet feeder for your pets. Well, here you guys go. All right, so we're going to be showing you guys this automated cat feeder. So you can actually supply cow. It's a oh, deer power <laughs> video. <laughs> you can actually supply cow. Oh, man, power we need deer power to stream. Either batteries or through the plug. We are using the outlet plug. And that just goes in the bottom here. So in this little pocket here, you can either stick your, um, your batteries or you can plug the plug that is supplied in right down there into the outlet. And then you just flip this switch down here to turn the device on. So the next thing that we're going to do is you're going to go ahead and open this top latch here and we're going to put some of our cat's food in there. Bear with me. Oh, do, 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 do. Scoop. For good measure. Scoop for good measure. Time for a nap, yes. Being your best Time friend. to go back to bed and start the whole day over. All right. Bing. <laughs> We're very excited. We're very excited. We don't know what this machine is, but we are so pumped to try it out. Look here, sir. Sir, I saw there was food. Just give it to me. That's what Scott's saying. Uh, oh, sorry. Buttons. Press the buttons. What? There's a microphone? Uh, oh, okay. So you can manually, like, set a timer for when it should dispense at any time of day. <laughs> Uh, the feeder supports up to six meals a day. Uh, you can set multiple meals Oops. at different times. Um, here I guess. I hit the button. And there you go. Bean. Amelia, thank you for the follow. Want to try, girlfriend? How's your day? What brings you here? Oh, cat food. I need some food. See? See, the cat's like, get out of my way. I'm eating, sir. That's my food. <laughs> That's my really food. cool. This is really good if you are someone who works a lot and travels a lot and you need something to help take care of your cat. 
maybe while you're away. Or if you have a cat like ours who just screams in the morning before she gets her food, this might help you be able to sleep in a little bit later. So like he said, you can actually program it to dispense food at a certain time of day. You can also use it if your cat is maybe overweight and you're trying to monitor how much food they're intaking. This is a good way to do that. All of my cats are like, this is so cool. It comes with a quick guide uh, for you to set it up mm. and force So it. you guys see, um, it is very digital. You can set it up. You can talk to it. You can see your pets. You can set up the amount of food that it's fed uh, and the times that it's fed, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, as you guys see, my little daughter popped in and it was uh, hanging out for a second there. So if you guys need a cat feeder or dog feeder, I mean, dogs not really going to eat out of that unless you have a small dog. Just going to be honest with you guys. Uh, but a cool little piece. Now, of course, you're going to need a water f water bowl. So what about the water pet piece? Here you guys go. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to showcase you the product called Capsule from Petly Pro. This is an ultra quiet oh, water you're fountain good. for pets. You can use it for cats, for dogs. Guys, I'm going to mute the microphone for a minute. My kid Mostly is going to make some I recommend movement. for cats and dogs. This has PPA free, two flow modes. And it also has a visible water level for the dispenser. Also, it comes with a water bowl that is, has large size filter. And in this video, I'm going to showcase you everything. So when it comes in a secure package like this, you see, it's totally secure. And if you want to see everything inside, you just have to lift up this pack, the cap right here. And all the equipments and the components, the parts are inside. This is make from plastic it's very clear it's visible it's transparent uh, thank you for the follow so i appreciate that level. and now let's check it out let's see what do they come inside so from in the side package you will have like the water fountain level the instruction the manual and some other plastic component and now i'm going to showcase you how to install these components together the installation is very simple and straightforward first of all you have to use the pump. Of course, you have to connect it to the electrical outlet and position the pump at the bottom of the water fountain. And then you put the cord inside the slot. You just have to put a cord like this, go follow through the whole slot. It's very simple. The cord doesn't tangle as much, so it's very easy. Then you just have to install the silicon pipe and add water to the tank. And for the last step, you just have to install the filter tray, the filter, the water tray, the spout, and connect it to the power. Then your product is ready to use. The first impressions I get from this product so far is the design. It has a humanized design. With it has a lot of ergonomic design that makes it easy to open the water tray and the. Yeah, with this guy's full ergonomical design, water is filtered in and out, which is great for the cats because because cats would prefer moving water. If you ever seen a cat, they prefer that water to move and keep moving. That's why if you leave a faucet on low, you'll see that they'll get up there and they'll lick the faucet because they like that movable water, which that means this water is permanently always moving in 360 degrees, filtering out all the debris and little bits that are stuck in their little whiskers and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. Now, it does have a multi-layer filtration system. Uh, when that goes out after a while, you can change it out and get a new one. Uh, cool little part, guys, right there. It actually pops up and it starts trickling the water out like a fountain. Now, it does have a minimum and max filling line in there with that, of course. Uh, so you guys will see right here that it is now moving and trickling the water out like it is a fountain. Now, the one downfall to this is, is they may want to play in it. All right. You may have an animal playing with it, and then it's going to be splashed in places that you may not want. So make sure to put something under it, guys, if you need. So that is a cool little cat feeder and cat waterer. Or maybe you guys need this cool little toaster oven. Now, I'm not going to play the video. There's no point for me to play this video right now. This is from Toshiba. This is their toaster oven. That's right, the TL1. This is a 10-in-1 toaster oven, so it does more than just toast toast. 
Uh, you can reheat, uh, I believe it's reheat food, defrost food, toast food, bake food, broil food. You can even bake a pizza in it. You can cook cookies. You can rotisserie a chicken. Yes, it's got a rotisserie in it. So you can cook a chicken in there. Now you can keep food warm or you can do what's called confection oven uh, to broil and baste and cook stuff like that. Now, the cool part is, is with that rotisserie, guys, it comes in there and it will spin. It comes with the spick and everything. It's there. It comes with the baking sheet. comes with the crumb tray. Uh, you can do 11-inch pizza, 12, uh, 12 cookies at a time, 6 toast, or 2 to 3 steaks, and approximately 4 to 5 ounces of steak. Uh, you're not going to throw tomahawk steaks in this, guys. I'm not sure who would cook a tomahawk steak in there, but if you are, let me know. I want to know how to come out. Uh, 1700 watts of power. Uh, it does come with the six accessories, guys, that I already named off. Uh, with that, there are probably a couple others I did not name off that does come in there for that. Uh, nice large, you know, large size, guys. Approximately 20 inches by 15 inches by 10 inches is not bad of a size. Now, with that, it does come with the rotisserie tray, the crumb tray. Um, the rotisserie lift, the baking rack, uh, baking pan, and I believe a rack clamp. The rack clamp is to pull your rack out so you don't burn your hands with that. Uh, guys, this is actually a cool piece. The digital display on the front will allow you to adjust the temperatures and the times to your liking, but it has a whole bunch of presets already in there. So if you guys need a toaster oven, Toshiba's got you covered with that one. Uh, nice little piece, guys. Uh, next up is the Zon Gym Protein Shake Shaker Bottle. I'm here showcasing the Zon Gym Protein Shaker Bottle. Now what this is, is this is your typical shaker bottle that's battery operated. It has a charging base, which you just have to plug into USB and charge it. Yeah, charging base, it guys. Charging base. In here. What you do is you attach the base, lock into place. You could close that cap right there. You would pour in whatever beverage you want. And Good then you morning, Ray Ray. Pour in your protein powders, and it will mix it. You simply press the power button on it right here, and I'm going to do it with no liquid in there, and you can see it and hear it. It's spinning. It shows you it's spinning, and you can see the little spinning wow. blade in there. Stick your finger in there. It's plastic. It's not hard, so you don't have to worry about it. It's safe. It's just a plastic little spinner. Oh, but, it's still so going to cut you. I don't use protein powders, but I use super green powder, and it works it's gonna just hurt. as well for that. It's going to so hurt. Don't stick your finger in there. from NutriChamps. And I really love this because it's got probiotics, it's got super green superfoods, it's got spinach, it's got blue algae, Ugh, agave, spinach. organic carrots. It's got so much powder in it. And I stir this in with my green tea quite often. So what I like to do is pour my green tea and it has a berry flavor. So it adds a berry flavor to green tea to make your green tea taste even better. So for this case, we're gonna pour in my green tea, take in some of my super green powder, Again, that's about how much I use. And you can see it all clumping and floating at the top. Like now, of course, you guys can see the dogs in the background. We'll put the lid on, screw it tight. And we'll let it go through. Now, normally I would just shake it with a shaker bottle, but let's see how it stirs. So, as you can see, here's the measuring amount. You can see the kind of powder floating in there. And then we'll turn it on and watch it start spinning. Oh, that's kind of cool. You hear that spinning? It's creating a vortex tunnel, mixing it really, really well. That's actually spinning way better than I thought it was gonna spin. And so that should be about mixed enough, my powder. Let's pop it again, tap it, turn it off, and see how well it mixed. Oh, look at that. That mixed very well. There's only a tiny little bit of powder clump in the top now. Very tiny little bit. Oh, I would've got that. You should've mixed. let it keep going, this buddy. This is way better than just shaking it myself. Like, I would just shake it, and the powder would still be clumped, you can still shake it. But listen to that. Listen to how well that's that's still stirring. shaker. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So if you need something that just shakes your protein or your powders that you mix in your drink, this does a really really good job of stirring it up, and you could just you know take it with you. You could. So if you need a protein shaker, that might be an option for you. Uh three dollar clippable coupon. I'm told three dollar clippable coupon. Ah, uh, thanks for telling me because I can't look and see that. <laughs> James here. Oh, Today well, we're taking it's a sport here. Sport here massage gun. Guys. Mini S vibrating. Now this is the mini S, of course, vibrating massage gun. Yes, that's right, 
vibrating massage gun. Well, it's a massage gun. Of course, it's going to vibrate. Ah, uh, 48 WH LG battery built in. What's that mean? I don't know. Six hours of playtime. That's what it means. Uh, so you do have six hours of usage time on a full charge with this device, guys. It does take a round DC plug to charge it. Now, it does come with multiple heads. So you get the extra heads with this. Now, a couple of these heads are what I like to call metal covered or metal like chrome plated covering. Now, they're not actually chrome, so don't worry about that, right? Uh, high torque brushless motor, guys, which is actually cool. The brushless motor will last longer and give you more power with that. Now, with this one, there's actually a 30% clippable coupon today for this device. Uh, it goes from anywhere from 1,200 RPM to 3,200 RPM with that brushless motor, which is cool. Now, the six different heads... Uh, guys are shaped different for different parts of your body like your legs your necks your shoulders your arms uh, Or to penetrate even deeper like that your Y hook one uh, Which is kind of cool the two metal heads uh, Are good because you can actually freeze them or put them in like uh, a heat for heat them uh, in like a massage oil which means to give you that extra little uh, advantage of massaging so if you freeze those metal heads or get them really cold it's going to help penetrate those muscles. Or maybe you want to loosen those muscles up. You heat the heads up in warm water and, or warm oil and then let it massage and go. Kind of cool. Now, it is multi-leveled or layered with the actual intensities. So you do have that with you. So that's kind of cool. Um, guys, this is less than, I believe it's like 30 to 40 dBs. Uh, so about... Actually, I think it's uh, even under that. So you should be able to talk without even hearing it, really, which is kind of very, very phenomenally well done. Uh, with that, uh, you have, I believe, like five levels of uh, intensities. So you have five levels of the intensities all by that press button right there. And you guys see that's moving very, very well. Uh, cool little piece, guys. This one actually works phenomenally, phenomenally well. And I love that you can freeze or heat up those tips right there, like the one I'm using right there that's making my arm look like jello. Look at that. Jello arms. I could probably fly away with those chicken wings. Why, ah, chicken wings? <laughs> oh, guys, how about this one? This is the Suzy Pad. Microwave heating pad for pain relief. This is the Suzy Pad microwave heating pad for pain relief. I all I smell is food board. now in this it house. It already looks so soothing, she and didn't it does have clay beads that are long lasting and help retain heat better. The flaxseed and millet provides a moist therapy as well. One side has a silky Dutch velvet that is ultra soft and helps to retain even more heat. But then you have the other side that is the premium minky and it is really comfortable it's skin friendly and durable i love the fact that it only takes one minute to heat up it lasts for 20 minutes you get natural therapy without having to worry about plugs what's up pants or falling asleep with it or pet sanja my bad he is perfect Eat -eat 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 today. relaxing the muscles How you doing, Pat? promoting blood circulation alleviating joints and stiffness and cramps. It feels really great and it's super simple to use. You can even put it into the freezer to give it a more cold feel. I love that it is soft, skin friendly and durable, as well as it has a section chamber design for even heat distribution and long lasting heat retention. I hope yeah. this video helped. Thank you so much. So maybe you need a heating pad. Right there you go. Right there you go. Oh my God, it's James with his ugly feet out. Now guys, this is the Quinier Leg Massager. I'm not really going to play the video today. We're just going to talk about it. The Quinier Leg Massager is really, really a nice piece of technology. If you guys have ever been looking for a leg massager, this is a good option. So with the Quinier, you get this cool three modes, three intensities, and three heat levels. Now you have two extensions of this. Those extensions are actually good because it'll give you uh, extensions of how big of a leg or calf you can actually put in there. If you use the extension for, let's say, your calves, you'll go from 19 inches up to 28 inches. If you use it for the thighs, you'll go from 27 to 40 inches 
with that extension. Now, like I said, you have the three layers of, of heat, medium or minimum, medium, or maximum. You also get the intensity, minimum, or minimum, medium, or maximum. Then you get the mode, three modes. You get sequence, circulation, or combination of the both with that. Now, it is a dual sided. They do say left and right. Do they both have to be connected up to use this, guys? And the way it works is it's an airbag massaging mechanism. So each bag moves around, pops, and moves to massage as an air massage, which is actually beautifully well done. Now, the cord is not super, super long, but it's long enough for you to sit in one area and have it plugged in with no problem. Now, you do have to be plugged in, so remember that, guys. You do have to be plugged in. Just saying. Uh, Quinn Air, guys, full leg compression massaging with heat. These are good for people that are sedentary or that do a lot of running, jogging, and everything to help uh, uh, calm their feet down when they're done. Or maybe you guys need a foot massager that can vibrate the kidney stones out of you. Yes, that's right. <laughs> that's funny. Funny, guys. Funny. We're going to pop forward. We're going to let this play right here, guys. This is kind of cool. So you see that it does have a remote control. The remote control does come out, and you're good there with that. Now, with this, guys, there's actually a very cool piece of 30% clippable coupon with this. Now, it is variable speeds. That's right. Variable speeds and adjustments with this. It does come with this cool little uh, adjustable, uh, easy to clean cover. So the cover does come on and off. I've shown you guys without the cover, but there is a cover that does go over those pads. Now, this does heat up, so you do have that with that. It does have multiple intensities. Now, you could technically stand on this if you're about 198 pounds. Anything over that can actually hurt this device. Uh, the way this works is, as you guys see, it'll actually just start vibr vibrating and shaking and moving. Now, you're going to see me mess with it, put my feet on it, and adjust it. Now, you have multi-intensities of the heat. You have multi-adjustments uh, of the intensities of its shaking. And you have the modes. The modes will change the way it shakes, uh, which is actually kind of cool. So you have three massage modes, three levels of intensities, and two heating levels. So that's actually kind of cool. Now it is a default setting, so 15 minutes uh, at a time and it will actually stop uh, running. So it does have a 15 minute uh, power time, then it drops down. Now they do recommend using this like three times a day uh, with that, which is actually kind of cool. And as you guys see, it's sitting there, it's shaking, it's moving me uh, very, very well. Hey, what's up, Ship Roman? How you doing, buddy? Oh, it's just a shaking. It's just a shaking. Uh, you guys can see that it's moving, shaking, and this thing's actually cool. Multiple, multiple little nodular balls down there to actually work out. That is from Snail Axe, guys. Now we're going to show you guys another Snail Axe product. Uh, this is their neck and back massager. So the neck and back massager, guys, is just that. It has two sets of nodular balls. The nodular balls do light up red when they're actually heated and using. Now, of course, if I... Here, to kind of see this uh, with us now it does have a cleanable adjustable cloth uh james are you here yes i'm here phil uh so phil if you've been in here chatting uh i'll have to tell you a few things <laughs> i broke my second monitor buddy this morning so i'm down to one monitor i can barely see chat uh chat's an issue <laughs> uh so with this, guys, you can actually use this in your car or actually, uh, uh, no, broke my my computer monitor. So uh, the stack of product got too big, pushed on the, of the cable. It broke the inside port where the power port plugged in and broke it completely off inside. And when I mean broke off, it broke off and out. So, uh, my, oh, my knee? Oh, you mean my leg? <laughs> my, I think I chipped my uh, the bone of my foot, so that that was that's I'm fine. I'm walking on it. <laughs> that was last night. Yeah, it's been an eventful week. <laughs> uh, and so it's uh, my shin bone. So right in the middle of the shin. So I'm driving my neighbor's car. I got out of the car. 
went to go get back in the car and my leg slid and her the way her car is I don't know if you guys have ever seen some of them cars that the dash wraps almost in and around you I wasn't used to it so I whacked my leg straight across it I'm totally fine though the, the leg's fine I, I'm good I'm good uh, are you insured definitely I'm insured I'm insured don't need insurance, but I'm insured. I'm good. It would, dude. I should have my car back today, so I don't have to drive my neighbor's car. <laughs> oh yeah, it, it's been a nice, eventful week, guys. You guys should you should have my week anytime, anytime you want. <laughs> uh, uh, guys, massaging. Multiple layers of intensities, heating on and off. If you guys need, cool little massager. Daily adventures with James. Yeah, it's... You know, I... Let's pop over. We're, we're going to do this. So we're going to do this. We're going to talk about this. I honestly kind of had a feeling that I was uh, something was going to happen with the amount of stuff I was stacking under my desk. But I was not expecting that. I figured I was going to hit the power plug and, and power my stuff off. I didn't expect it to pull the cable and break it. Because all my cables were tugged up and wired out of the way. Things happen. All right. Things happen. We're rolling with it. We're doing good. Just breathing and going. Breathing and going. All right. Oh. <laughs> uh. If you guys need a back and neck massager, I got you covered, right? All right. Or maybe you need this really cool little turtle. Uh, this is a... Dude, this desk is not a year old, man. The desk is new. The monitor wasn't even a year old. Today okay, we're taking a look at the NACOM Solar Garden Turtle. Of course, this is the Solar Garden Turtle here. This has seven LEDs, has some floweration colorations, and is made out of resin. Guys, look at this little beauty. All the way around, has the eyes, has the flowers. You can see its tail even on the back. You see the solar thing. panel this here. Cool. You can also see the on and off switch if we slide that over. Phil said he's going to pay for my new PC build. On right on and off, Thanks, of Phil. course, and then you guys will start seeing the lighting right there. Uh, you do have the solar panel. It does work in the dark. And if I drop this light down right here, uh, you guys will start seeing this a little bit better. I'll quite show you in cool, a minute, Phil. Quite impressive uh, little device. If I shut it off, you guys will see it even brighter. I am loving this turtle. Now I'm going to turn this back on. Uh, we're going to turn on my, my, my light. Oh, look, I muted the sound with the light. Uh, guys, cool little turtle. Very bright, very vibrant. Awesome little thing uh, with that. Now, we're going to pop over because Phil wants to see uh, this over here. So we're going to do this. Phil, so everything that was under my desk is right there in that picture. All of that stuff was stacking up. And there was actually a couple pieces not in that picture that should have been that was pushing up against all my cabling. So that's all the stuff that was under there. Um, that's the port that broke. <laughs> uh, that's the piece that broke completely outside. Uh, so yeah, so it happens. And things happen, it's just, you know, live, you learn, you move on. Uh yeah, I'm super, I can't believe that broke the way it broke, honestly. That should have never been able a breaking point like that to be able to break like that. Uh, I didn't even know it was broke, so what I was doing was is I was getting set up to stream. I touched the desk, and when I touched the desk, it actually just must have pushed the cable just enough that all my monitors flashed. So my other monitor uses a regular, like, uh, computer plug to power it. And that's what it should have been. Ah, uh, there was no... No, there, there's no there's no video for that monitor. 
I never did a video on that monitor. That was one of those rush items. It's all good. Dude, it happens. Things happen. You just got to go with it. I'm up and streaming using a single monitor and a itty bitty phone. <laughs> just an itty bitty phone, all right? Just an itty bitty one. Uh, maybe the people on here want a hair dryer. Well, my wife did a nice video for you for this one. Enjoy, guys. Hey everyone, I'm Rachel, and today I have for you the Life in Swift hair dryer. So it comes in this box here. Love the box. I love a pretty box. I don't know about you. And yeah, I already got so another monitor coming, box, buddy. It comes with, of course, don't you bigger. have your instruction manual. You know what? And then here is the unit itself. So this is the Life in dryer. And then it comes with the attachments. You have your diffuser. And then you have your uh, your concentrator here. And then you have the uh, fan style one to like really get on the vent brush. And what I really love is that these are magnetic. Like, look at this. Like, seriously, how cool is that? Like, and it doesn't come off, right? Amazing, I love that. So no like clipping, no trying to screw it on, like just really clip I and love go, what she said. love it. And so they all just clip on just like that. Now with this guys, there's actually a $40 clippable coupon today with this. So there is a $40 clippable coupon. Now this is a brushless motor style. It does do 110,000 RPMs. This thing moves with that now it does do some cool things like she's shown you guys the magnetic tips uh, it does have led lighting on the back that indicate the temperature of the air so blue is cold air yellow is warm air about 50 celsius and red is hot air at 80 celsius now with this you have the power settings or power on the power on goes from uh, low speed to high speed so you have two speeds you then have another button where you can actually just push and it'll go from cold to warm to hot or if you hold it down for like multiple seconds it'll go into what's act called active circulating mode the active circulating mode means it goes from cold to hot to cold to hot back and forth now the cool thing about this is is with this hair dryer the motor is actually in the handle which means it's not up top so it's not top heavy and you're not hurting your wrist moving it which is actually very, very cool. The magnetic tips, the air inlets, and it has an inner filter. That's right, there is an inner filter that can actually be unscrewed and cleaned uh, for like dust particulates, because if you guys have ever used a hair dryer for a long period of time, you'll know that they actually collect dust at the motor area, just like a fan. This has a filter, so you can actually adjust that and clean that out. So with the guys, it is actually quite, quite strong and very, very, very well done. It's a beautiful piece. Now, as you guys see, she's still going on and all that other stuff. And I'm going to just let her um, talk. The uh, fan style one to like really get on. Oh, the oh, oh, oh. See how the, the temperature, see how the temperature is constantly adjusting, like I said. So it keeps an even temperature. So you're not going to get burnt, not going to be too cold. Yeah, like she said. It's going to stay just like perfect. To dry your hair. Now with that, guys, it's not super loud, but it is still a hair dryer, so there is quite a bit. There's enough sound that it could annoy some people, but it's not super super loud. But it does blow a lot of air. It's actually quite well done. Uh, it's an ionic style, so it does work by negative ions. So it actually helps do that with that, guys. It's a cool piece of technology. My wife loves that. Uh, my kid now owns it. It's now hers. Uh, so if you guys need a hair dryer, Lefion has got you covered. Or maybe you guys need a projector. Well, we're going to show you guys the Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K that Nate did. 
What's going on guys, oh, Nathaniel with Dragon Ball Tech Tekken Entertainment and today we're going to be taking a look oh, at easily Nate my video. favorite projector. This is the Anchor Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K. This is a Does true native points? 4K projector with Android 10. Point oh, we're going to drop the sound. We're going to pop over. We're going to let this play and we're going to go about this. Now, this is an Android projector of full 4K. It does have 30 watts of t uh, speaker power. It does have Android 10. So you have all the apps that you could ever want on hand. Now it is fully portable and rechargeable. It does weigh about 10 pounds though, just remember that. Now with that being said guys, this does some very, very cool stuff. That's right, because it's portable, you can also connect up some other things. Now this is 1,840, 1,840 ANSI lumens guys. That's right, ANSI lumens bright bright projector can do up to 158 screen does have an hdmi port an auxiliary port uh bluetooth connectability and wi-fi connectability and a usb 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 but hey what does the hardware consist of well the hardware you have a quad core on cortex a55 cpu you have the g31 mp2 arm mali GPU. You have 2 gigabytes of DDR-ROM, 16 gigabytes of RAM. You have two 10-watt speakers and two 5-watt speakers. That's right. Counting four. That's right. Four speakers. Now, the light source lifespan is approximately 25,000 hours. Uh, out of this, you probably get more. Don't worry about that, guys. Uh, since it is a DLP, it's a digital laser projector with that. Um, the brightness light output will vary on depending on the usage of the conditions, guys. So remember that. Light output is measured by your background and how dark or bright your area is. It's one of those things. Just know that. All right. Now, you will need to, I believe it comes with two batteries for the actual remote, which is quite, quite cool. He's showing you guys all the adjustments and settings that are in here with this for that. Donuts, who's got what? What? <sighs> jelly donuts? Who's got jelly donuts? You guys are mean. I want jelly donuts. Can I have jelly donuts? Huh? I like jelly donuts. Why are you guys being so mean to me? Jelly donuts. Sugar rash. Jelly donuts. I don't know why you guys had to bring that up. Now I'm just sitting here like, oh, food. Back to being hungry. Thanks, guys. I'm unaware of the destination of these donuts. Uh, me too, Phil. Me too. I would like to know where these donuts went and where they have gone to. Look how bright that is, guys. That's beautifully, beautifully done. That projector is amazing, guys. It's amazing. You guys should actually try and get one of these. Uh-huh. You guys should. Just saying. Mac and cheese pizza, yuck. That just not even sound good. Am I the only one just that just got disgusted by that sound of mac and cheese pizza? Ew. What are you, a monster? Are you a monster? A homemade banana bread, but does it have nuts in it? I can't have nuts. I like banana bread, chocolate banana bread. All right, guys, we're going to do this. This is the last product of the day. This is the Anchor Nebula Cosmos 1080p. James here. Oh, yes, that's right. 1080p projector. Well, this 1080p projector does have two 10-watt speakers. It does have an HDMI input, a USB plug, and Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectability. That's right. Now, it is only 1080p, though, so it is 110 ANSI lumens. With that, um, so that is one thing. You know, you get about thirty thousand hours of bat or LED life out of this. Does take about three seconds for the autofocus to work. Does have one, two HDMI ports, one USB A, one optical port. Uh, you have two gigabytes of DDR RAM, eighteen gigabytes of ROM. That's backwards. That is just wrong, man. 20 watts of speaker power, 2.4 or 5G Wi-Fi connectability, Bluetooth 4.0. You 
Now, it is Android 9.0, which means it is a Chromecast-supported device. Just skin to their liking, which means you have access to all, all of the, the apps that you could ever want with that. Um, what are the cons of working from home? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. The cons of working at home. I, that's just messed up. I'm going to turn the volume up. Here's the Let's, speaker uh, power, guys. Find something to... Watch the fish fall. You guys can hear that? Now my bow is badly broken, of course, you know. It's not good yet. One more. Now it's great. Come on, right here. Snap. And the bow broke. The bow broke. Guys, now I'm going to turn it back oh, down because now you guys can hear the volume from that. Now, as you guys see, you can use this projector, guys, to definitely play games and all of that other cool fun. It's a beautiful piece of technology that works very, 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 very well. If you guys need, Anchor has got you covered with the projectors, the vacuums, the security door locks, security systems, pretty much anything and everything you could think of. Anchor's got you covered with many of their companies. Uh, guys, cool little piece right there, of course. That was the last product of the day. What? Hey, I made it through a stream with a single monitor. I'm quite proud of myself. Quite proud of myself. <laughs> oh, I, I can say that's a win for sure, guys. That is a win for me. Uh, I have not really done a stream without dual monitors in a long, long time. <laughs> Uh, we actually have a 29-inch monitor on its way. Um, hopefully, in the next few days, it'll pop up. If not, I will probably have to hit up Best Buy, Walmart, Costco, Micro Center, uh, something one of those. Yeah, Justin's monitor's huge. Don't don't get no don't, don't don't pull that one monitor. Justin's got. His monitor there, probably two tablets, a laptop, a phone. <laughs> oh, I don't want to hear it. Uh, Justin was actually quite gracious enough. He reached out to a company. The company is sending me a monitor, so I'm actually golden. I'm set. I just will have to deal with one monitor until then. It happens. It happens. Oh. So, guys, with that, I guess I'm out of here. I'm going to go and I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't have my car yet. So. <laughs> I'm going to go eat some lunch. That's it. I'm going to eat lunch, breakfast, whatever you want to call it. I want to thank you all for being here. I quite enjoyed it. Had quite amount of fun. You know what? I do need to give you guys a little number, though. Well, hold on. Before we go. We are at uh, 12,997 followers, guys. For the regulars that know, 12,997, the moment we hit, you know, that other thing on that other place, you know. All right, cool. We're almost to 13,000 followers, and I want to thank you all for getting us there because I really do appreciate it. Uh, we're almost to 13,000. All right, guys. I'm out of here. Have fun. See you guys all later. And all of that other cool jazz. Peace! Later, guys.